Hey guys, what's up? This is LJS here and I am back, finally, after a long, long break. Sorry guys that I haven't been um, uploading videos as often as I did in the past. As I mentioned, I've been really, really, really busy with um, schoolwork and I have a lot of projects to do. I've been spending my whole day from morning until 11pm in university, like almost every single day. And yeah, I haven't had time to play Vanguard or stuff for a long time. But I've made today free so that I can give you guys an unboxing video of the new trial deck. Yeah, the new G series. So now now um, Vanguard has gone into a sort of new series, like a sort of a reboot into a G series. And now the, the trial decks are VGE G trial deck. So yeah. So here are, for English, they had decided to release three of them together at once. Uh, Japanese was just these two, but now there's three, including the Neon Nectar. Oh yeah, Neon Nectar. I'm actually very excited for the new Vanguard G series because I've seen the support for set 1 and set 2, especially for the, the Great Nature clans and the rest. Those are exciting, I can't wait for them to be in English. But, I guess today here, we'll be going into the trial deck, the new ones. So, uh, for this video, uh, I'll do Gear Chronicle first, let's go in order. So number one, so this video will be doing the Gear Chronicle. I'll follow up with two more videos of the other two stuff as well. And um, yeah, let's get to it, I guess. Um, look, first of all, you notice that the box design has changed. It looks really nice now. I like the I like how they have black and red color and it's pretty cool. And how they've angled the box here. So I'll be doing a short review on the, the trial deck as well to consider like how good is the trial deck. But I guess some of you who know have, who has been following the news know that the trial decks nowadays has the, for the new for the new G series, the trial decks have gone through an upgrade, and essentially it's you know it's more worth your money. So yeah, let's get to it. And yeah, G G Venga G has also introduced a new um, mechanic called Stride. Well, it has been. I mean, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys know what it does, but yeah, it's a new thing. So finally, once the trial deck, the G series trial deck is out. We can finally get into it. Woo! Okay. There's a box. Let's get it out of the way. Oh, oh, and I also forgot to mention that if you guys buy a trial deck of uh, the Gear Chronicle, you will, for English, you will get a promo card. So, you get these two cards for these two things. So, like, I guess let's, let's look at it. So, first one is the one I think everyone wants. True Ultimate Dimensional Robo Great Dai Kaiser. So, he's a Legion Revival campaign for uh, Great Daiyusha. I don't have him, so I probably won't run him. But the other one is uh, Amon's leader Astaroth. This I'm excited for because I play Dark Regulus as well. And this is a revival for the original Amon. So yeah. And he, oh yeah, he's also the first 22k Legion. Quite interesting. Yeah, the first 20... Let me get to focus. First 22k... Uh, Legion, yeah. I guess my camera can't focus that much. But yeah, so those are two promo cards you get. And I think the other Shroudex also have their own promo cards. So let's open this, uh, the tape, sorry. Yes. I am very sloppy today, haven't been opening stuff. So let's, before we get to it, let's look, at, let's look at the goodies. So in here we have the starter's guide. So this is what you guys should read if you are, if you are a beginner, read this. And guess what, it transforms into an advanced version of more rules. So yeah, so read this, it's very useful if you're a beginner. It helps you know the starting point of stuff. And for those of you who are not beginners, you can just ignore it, throw it away. And here's the play mat. Uh, I've seen online that apparently it's quite nice. The design is different as well. And let's take a look. Yeah. Oh yeah, so yeah. So now that the mat has become very nice. <clears throat> what am I doing? Okay, there you go. Here, so this is the red one for the Gear Chronicle. And ooh, guess what? It's bigger. It's quite big. It's bigger than the actual mat of the other stuff as well. Cool. Hopefully, future play mats like this, like this types will be bigger as well because now with the Generation Strike, they have this new area called the G Zone. Yeah, so the G Zone is where you put your strike units. And wow, this is actually pretty cool. It is a very nice mat. And yeah. Okay, and what's at the back? We have all three trial decks shown at the back. Strike to victory! This is, I guess it's a new slogan, but yeah. Okay, so that's the mat. Now let's get to the trial deck, the good stuff. Uh, let's see how you open this. There we go. 
Yeah. No. There you go. Okay, so I'll go through the cards one by one. So first thing you get is the strike unit and his shiny. I like his his holo is pretty good. Let's zoom in a bit. There you go. No, you won't focus. Sorry guys. There you go. So yeah, so first you have your strike unit and this is the Interdimensional Dragon, Mr. Flare Dragon. So his skill is actually quite weird. Uh, basically, if when you strike him and he uh, his attack hits a vanguard, you can reveal your top four cards of your deck, and if they are all different grades, you can kind of blast four and you gain an extra turn. So it ha you need to have zero, one, two, and three in that four cards you choose. Unless of course you run grade four in your deck, but there is no grade four to run in a Normal deck, I guess. But yeah. Also, this is a triple rare. So the holo is actually pretty nice. Look at that. It's pretty cool. So you get two copies. One triple rare and one um, common. And woo! Woo! Woo, what is this? What is this? Chrono Jet Dragon and there's some golden squiggly stuff on it. Ah, so this is the sign campaign. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I guess for English that some, some decks, trial decks will have signature. You get a sign card, and look at that, it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, so this is Chrono Jet Dragon, so your staple sort of grade 3 for stride. Um, yeah, one triple rare and one non triple rare version. Then you have your four copies of this grade 3, which is some Smithereen Colossus. So it's, it's the typical uh, lousy Chrono Blast 1 to gain 3k guy. Then you have two other grade 3, Steam Knight Ubara Tutu, and his skill is pretty interesting. So I guess he has Generation Break 1, he gains 6k if he attacks, so he's a 16k beater when he's gener Generation Break 1. And Counter Blast 2, when he's placed on a Vanguard Circle, you can choose an opponent's grade 2 or less regard and put it at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, Gear Chronicle sort of does retirement, sort of, but by putting cards at the bottom of the deck. So there's two of that. Oh yeah, let's just go through Chrono Jet Dragon's skill. So his skill is that um, gener Generation Break 2, when this unit attacks Vanguard, he gains 5k, and your opponent cannot call Grade 1 or Greater units from hand. So he is like a glory effect when he's Generation Break 2. Second skill is Counter Blast 1, uh, when you strike on him, basically when you strike on him, um, you can pay a cost with your Counter Blast 1. If you do, choose one of your opponent's uh, rear guards, and your opponent puts that at the bottom of his deck. So yeah. Because uh, Cross Gear Chronicle are time travelers and they send things back to the bottom of the deck as a way to reverse time, I guess. Next, you have four of these uh, 10k vanillas, 10k bit stick, so Smoke Gear Dragon. It pretty, looks pretty interesting, I guess. Cool. And then next, we have uh, this guy Steam Fighter Ember. One triple rare and one normal common style. Uh, this is one of the really good cards. So for gen the, the new for the new Vanguard G, there has been a bunch of clones where he has similar skill as this. So basically, when Generation Break One, when this unit attacks the Vanguard and he is boosted, you can counter blast one. If you do, put choose an opponent's Grade Two or less rear guard and put a button on deck. So there has been clones of this kind of card that does that is basically a Vanguard attacker and is boosted. Counter blast one, it does something. So yeah, so every clan should has one have one. So this is pretty good skill. Next, we have the two copies of the Generation Break 1 be Beater. So basically, when he attacks the Vanguard, he gains 3k. So he's 12k, 12K attacker when you're at Generation Break 1. Uh, then we have two copies of this Great Carapace Gear Turtle, which is the special intercept. 8k base. When he intercepts, he's a 10k shield. Next, we have four copies of Mazer Gear Dragon, your 8K, 8k vanilla. And then you have this guy which is the 10k attacker, 4 copies of it. Generation Break 1 10k attacker, so basically when he attacks the Vanguard, he gains 3k when you're at Generation Break 1. And Steam Soldier, Steam Soldier Tag, you have 3 copies of this. So basically when he is attacked, he gains 5k. So I guess he's a defensive card, but he's 6k base and if, if let's say for example, you have no great tools to call, you can call him as a front row attacker, and when he's attacked, uh, he is a 11k base defense. Uh, interesting card, but I probably won't on him because it doesn't really add much value, I guess. 
Then we have two copies of the Steam Rider Burnham. So he's your Generation Break 1 Vanguard 10k booster. So, I mean, Generation Break 1 booster Vanguard, he's, your Vanguard gets 10k instead of 6k. Then we have two of the Perfect Guard, and this is the common one, EU. Like, we're so, we are so used to seeing shiny Perfect Guards, but now Perfect Guards are, are common. But you have two copies, which is good. Um, having Perfect Guards in your trial deck right now is really good, I guess. So trial decks now have really, really good value because at least now trial decks can be somewhat competitive compared to like in the past where trial decks are just pretty bad, I'd say. Except for some one or two key cards. But at least now, trial decks have a lot of key cards. So Perfect Guards 2, uh, common ones. And you have a starter, um, Gunner, Gunner Gear Draco Kid. So his skill is Generation Break 1. Kind of plus one, put this into your soul and search your deck for a grade 3 card and put it in your hand. So basically, once you have Generation Break 1, you can use you can trade him up, up into another grade 3. In case you, know, you miss your main grade 3, you can use him to search for it. Or you just swap him out for a uh, fodder to strike. Because for striding, you need to, to discard cards that add up to 3 grades. So a grade 3 means you just discard one card to stride, which is pretty good, I guess. Then you have 4 perfect... Uh, 4... What am I saying? Um... Critical Triggers, two of these normal Steam Knight Shu Shin draw, four stands, uh, this bunny guy, clock bunny, four heals, uh, this time maiden, and two of this uh, Lucky Pot Dracker Kid, one triple rare and one common, so triple rare lols. And here's the one where you put in a soul and you give something 3k. Yeah, so yeah, and Gear Chronicle is pretty interesting because they have a really nice steampunk style so yeah as you can see the new trial decks have four triple rare cards that has hollow like that triple rare so one two three and a draw <laughs> i guess i guess all the new trial decks that does that where they'll one of the trigger is triple rare as well hollow which is pretty interesting there we go shiny stuff and um you get two perfect guards which is pretty good and now instead of, instead of having one 12k attacker, you have two. And instead of having um, one of the good powerful cards, grade two, you have two. And instead of having just one of your main grade threes, you have two. And instead of having just one of your main strike unit, you have two now. So you, the new trial decks are actually really good value. And uh, I would say that it is good for beginners because the skills aren't actually very complicated. And also, you get two of your main cards. So now all you need to do is just buy two trial decks and you have a complete good deck. Unlike the past where you need to buy four trial decks and your deck is still not 100% completed because now with trial decks, you just buy two trial decks and you have a completed deck which is that works really well. So yeah, so this has been my unboxing and small review of the interdimensional dragon trial deck. And uh, yeah. Oh yeah, sign card. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and my slight review, I guess. Um, this has been. I'll be doing the unboxing for the other two trial decks later in the next video. Check it out. And if you like this video, thumbs up. If you like my content, do subscribe. Although I will not be able to be doing videos much lately because of my work, as I mentioned earlier. But thank you all for your support, and I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.